A typhoon is a mature tropical cyclone that develops between 180 degrees and 100 degrees east in the Northern Hemisphere. This region is referred to as the Northwestern Pacific Basin, and is the most active tropical cyclone basin on Earth, accounting for almost one-third of the world's annual tropical cyclones. For organizational purposes, the Northern Pacific Ocean is divided into three regions, the eastern North America to 140 degrees west, central 140 degrees west to 180 degrees, and western 180 degrees to 100 degrees east. The Regional Specialized Meteorological Center RSMC for tropical cyclone forecasts is in Japan, with other tropical cyclone warning centers for the Northwest Pacific in Hawaii the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, the Philippines and Hong Kong. While the RSMC names each system, the main name list itself is coordinated among 18 countries that have territories threatened by typhoons each year. A hurricane is a storm that occurs in the Atlantic Ocean or the Northeastern Pacific Ocean, a typhoon occurs in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean, and a tropical cyclone occurs in the South Pacific or the Indian Ocean. Within the Northwestern Pacific, there are no official typhoon seasons as tropical cyclones form throughout the year. Like any tropical cyclone, there are a few main requirements for typhoon formation and development, 1 sufficiently warm sea surface temperatures, 2 atmospheric instability, 3 high humidity in the lower to middle levels of the troposphere, 4 enough Coriolis effect to develop a low pressure center, 5 a pre-existing low level focus or disturbance, and 6 a low vertical wind shear. While the majority of storms form between June and November, a few storms do occur between December and May although tropical cyclone formation is at a minimum during that time. On average, the northwestern Pacific features the most numerous and intense tropical cyclones globally. Like other basins, they are steered by the subtropical ridge towards the west or northwest, with some systems recurving near and east of Japan. The Philippines receive the brunt of the landfalls, with China and Japan being impacted slightly less. Some of the deadliest typhoons in history have struck China. Southern China has the longest record of typhoon impacts for the region, with a thousand-year sample via documents within their archives. Taiwan has received the wettest known typhoon on record for the Northwest Pacific Tropical Cyclone Basins. <laughs> Nomenclature Topic. Etymology and usage The term typhoon is the regional name in the Northwest Pacific for a severe or mature tropical cyclone, whereas hurricane is the regional term in the Northeast Pacific and Northern Atlantic. Elsewhere this is called a tropical cyclone, severe tropical cyclone, or severe cyclonic storm. The Oxford English Dictionary cites Urdu Tuvan and Chinese Typhung giving rise to several early forms in English. The earliest forms Tough on, later, Tuvan, Tough on, and others derive from Urdu Tuvan, with citations as early as 1588. From 1699 appears, Tifun, later, Tifun, derived from Chinese with spelling influenced by the older Urdu derived forms. The modern spelling, Typhoon, dates to 1820, preceded by, Tai in 1771 and, Typhoon all derived from the Chinese Taifeng. The Urdu source word Tuvan Tuvan violent storm", cognate to Hindi Tufana Tuvan comes from the Persian Persian, Tuvan 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 meaning storm, which comes from the verb Persian, Tuvadan Tuvadan Tufidan Persian, Tuvadan Tuvadan to roar, to blow furiously. The word Tuvan Tuvan is also derived from Arabic as coming from Tafa, to turn round. The Chinese source is the word Taifeng or Taifeng, simplified Chinese, Taifeng traditional Chinese, Taifeng pinyin, Taifeng. The modern Japanese word, Taifeng Taifu Taifu, is also derived from Chinese. The first character is normally used to mean pedestal or stand, but is actually a simplification of the older Chinese character Tai, which means typhoon. Thus the word originally meant, "...typhoon wind". The ancient Greek typhon, typhon, typhon is related and has secondarily contaminated the word. The Persian term may originally have been influenced by the Greek word. <laughs> <laughs> Intensity classifications 
A tropical depression is the lowest category that the Japan Meteorological Agency uses and is the term used for a tropical system that has wind speeds not exceeding 33 knots 38 miles per hour, 61 km per hour. A tropical depression is upgraded to a tropical storm should its sustained wind speeds exceed 34 knots 39 miles per hour, 63 km per hour. Tropical storms also receive official names from RSMC Tokyo. Should the storm intensify further and reach sustained wind speeds of 48 knots 55 miles per hour, 89 km per hour then it will be classified as a severe tropical storm. Once the system's maximum sustained winds reach wind speeds of 64 knots 74 miles per hour, 119 km per hour, the JMA will designate the tropical cyclone as a typhoon. The highest category on its scale. From 2009, the Hong Kong Observatory started to further divide typhoons into three different classifications typhoon, severe typhoon, and super typhoon. A typhoon has wind speed of 64 to 79 knots, 73 to 91 miles per hour, 118 to 149 kilometers per hour. A severe typhoon has winds of at least 80 knots, 92 miles per hour, 150 kilometers per hour, and a super typhoon has winds of at least 100 knots, 120 miles per hour, 190 kilometers per hour. The United States Joint Typhoon Warning Center JTWC unofficially classifies typhoons with wind speeds of at least 130 knots 67 meters per second, 150 miles per hour, 241 kilometers per hour. The equivalent of a strong Category 4 storm in the Saffir-Simpson scale — as super typhoons. However, the maximum sustained wind speed measurements that the JTWC uses are based on a one-minute averaging period, akin to the U.S. National Hurricane Center and Central Pacific Hurricane Center. As a result, the JTWC's wind reports are higher than JMA's measurements, as the latter is based on a 10-minute averaging interval. <laughs> Genesis. There are six main requirements for tropical cyclogenesis, sufficiently warm sea surface temperatures, atmospheric instability, high humidity in the lower to middle levels of the troposphere, enough Coriolis force to develop a low pressure center, a pre-existing low level focus or disturbance, and low vertical wind shear. While these conditions are necessary for tropical cyclone formation, they do not guarantee that a tropical cyclone will form. Normally, an ocean temperature of 26.5 degrees Celsius .7 degrees Fahrenheit spanning through a depth of at least 50 meters 160 feet is considered the minimum to maintain the special mesocyclone that is the tropical cyclone. These warm waters are needed to maintain the warm core that fuels tropical systems. A minimum distance of 500 kilometers 300 miles from the equator is normally needed for tropical cyclogenesis. Whether it be a depression in the Intertropical Convergence Zone or monsoon trough, a broad surface front, or an outflow boundary, a low-level feature with sufficient vorticity and convergence is required to begin tropical cyclogenesis. About 85–90% of Pacific typhoons form within the monsoon trough. Even with perfect upper-level conditions and the required atmospheric instability, the lack of a surface focus will prevent the development of organized convection and a surface low. Vertical wind shear of less than 10 m per second 20 knots, 33 feet per second between the ocean surface and the tropopause is required for tropical cyclone development. Typically with Pacific typhoons, there are two outflow jets, one to the north ahead of an upper trough in the westerlies, and a second towards the equator. In general, westerly wind increases associated with the Madden-Julian oscillation lead to increased tropical cyclogenesis in all tropical cyclone basins. As the oscillation propagates from west to east, it leads to an eastward march in tropical cyclogenesis with time during that hemisphere's summer season. On average, twice per year twin tropical cyclones will form in the western Pacific Ocean, near the 5th parallel north and the 5th parallel south, along the same meridian, or line of longitude. There is an inverse relationship between tropical cyclone activity in the western Pacific Basin and the North Atlantic Basin, however. When one basin is active, the other is normally quiet, and vice versa. The main reason for this appears to be the phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation, or MJO, which is normally in opposite modes between the two basins at any given time. <laughs> <laughs> Frequency 
Nearly one third of the world's tropical cyclones form within the Western Pacific. This makes this basin the most active on Earth. Pacific typhoons have formed year-round, with peak months from August to October. The peak months correspond to that of the Atlantic hurricane seasons. Along with a high storm frequency, this basin also features the most globally intense storms on record. One of the most recent busy seasons was 2013. Tropical cyclones form in any month of the year across the northwest Pacific Ocean, and concentrate around June and November in the northern Indian Ocean. The area just northeast of the Philippines is the most active place on Earth for tropical cyclones to exist. Across the Philippines themselves, activity reaches a minimum in February, before increasing steadily through June, and spiking from July through October, with September being the most active month for tropical cyclones across the archipelago. Activity falls off significantly in November, although Typhoon Haiyan, the strongest Philippine typhoon on record, was a November typhoon. The most frequently impacted areas of the Philippines by tropical cyclones are northern and central Luzon and eastern Visayas. A 10-year average of satellite-determined precipitation showed that at least 30% of the annual rainfall in the northern Philippines could be traced to tropical cyclones, while the southern islands receive less than 10% of their annual rainfall from tropical cyclones. The genesis and intensity of typhoons are also modulated by slow variation of the sea surface temperature and circulation features following a near 10-year frequency. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Paths. Most tropical cyclones form on the side of the subtropical ridge closer to the equator, then move poleward past the ridge axis before recurving north and northeast into the main belt of the westerlies. Most typhoons form in a region in the northwest Pacific known as Typhoon Alley, where the planet's most powerful tropical cyclones most frequently develop. When the subtropical ridge shifts due to El Niño, so will the preferred tropical cyclone tracks. Areas west of Japan and Korea tend to experience many fewer September to November tropical cyclone impacts during El Niño and neutral years. During El Niño years, the break in the subtropical ridge tends to lie near 130 degrees east, which would favor the Japanese archipelago. During La Nina years, the formation of tropical cyclones, and the subtropical ridge position, shift westward across the western Pacific Ocean, which increases the landfall threat to China and greater intensity to Philippines. Those that form near the Marshall Islands find their way to Jeju Island, Korea. Typhoon paths follow three general directions. Straight track or straight runner. A general westward path affects the Philippines, southern China, Taiwan, and Vietnam. A parabolic recurving track. Storms recurving affect eastern Philippines, eastern China, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, and the Russian Far East. Northward track. From point of origin, the storm follows a northerly direction, only affecting small islands. A rare few storms, like Hurricane John, were redesignated as typhoons as they originated in the eastern, central Pacific and moved into the western Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Basin monitoring Within the Western Pacific, RSMC Tokyo Typhoon Center, part of the Japan Meteorological Agency has had the official warning responsibility for the whole of the Western Pacific since 1989, and the naming responsibility for systems of tropical storm strength or greater since 2000. However each national meteorological and hydrological service within the Western Pacific has the responsibility for issuing warnings for land areas about tropical cyclones affecting their country, such as the Joint Typhoon Warning Center for United States Agencies, the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration for interests in the island archipelago nation, and the Hong Kong Observatory for storms that come close enough to cause the issuance of warning signals. Topic. Name sources and name list The list of names consists of entries from 17 Southeast and East Asian nations and the United States who have territories directly affected by typhoons. The submitted names are arranged into a list, the names on the list will be used from up to down, from left to right. When all names on the list are used, it will start again from the left top corner. When a typhoon causes damage in a country, the affected country can request for retiring the name in the next session of the ESCAP, WMO Typhoon Committee. 
a new name will be decided by the country whose name was retired. Unlike tropical cyclones in other parts of the world, typhoons are not named after people. Instead, they generally refer to animals, flowers, astrological signs, and a few personal names. However, Philippines PAGASA retains its own naming list, which does consist of human names. Storms that cross the date line from the Central Pacific retain their original name, but the designation of hurricane becomes typhoon. In Japan, people use the numerical designation of typhoons according to the sequence of their occurrence in the calendar year. Records <inaudible> 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 The most active Western Pacific typhoon season was in 1964, when 39 storms of tropical storm strength formed. Only 15 seasons had 30 or more storms developing since reliable records began. The least activity seen in the Northwest Pacific Ocean was during the 2010 Pacific typhoon season, when only 14 tropical storms and 7 typhoons formed. In the Philippines, the most active season, since 1945, for tropical cyclone strikes was 1993 when 19 tropical cyclones moved through the country. There was only one tropical cyclone that moved through the Philippines in 1958. The 2004 Pacific typhoon season was the busiest for Okinawa since 1957. Within Guangzhou in southern China, during the past thousand years, the most active decades for typhoon strikes were the 1660s and 1670s. The highest reliably estimated maximum sustained winds on record for a typhoon were those of Typhoon Haiyan at 195 miles per hour (314 kilometers per hour) shortly before its landfall in the central Philippines on November 8, 2013. The most intense storm based on minimum pressure was Typhoon Tip in the northwestern Pacific Ocean in 1979, which reached a minimum pressure of 870 hectopascals and maximum sustained wind speeds of 165 knots 85 meters per second, 190 miles per hour, 310 kilometers per hour. The deadliest typhoon of the 20th century was Typhoon Nina, which killed nearly 100,000 in China in 1975 due to a flood that caused 12 reservoirs to fail. After Typhoon Morakot landed in Taiwan at midnight on August 8, 2009, almost the entire southern region of Taiwan Chirai County, Chirai City, Tainan County, Tainan City now merged as Tainan, Koziang County, Koziang City now merged as Koziang, and Pingtung County and parts of Taitung County and Nantou County were flooded by record-breaking heavy rain. The rainfall in Pingtung County reached 2,327 mm .6 in, breaking all rainfall records of any single place in Taiwan induced by a single typhoon, and making the cyclone the wettest known typhoon. See also China Tropical Cyclone Rainfall Climatology Effects of Tropical Cyclones Tropical cyclone Typhoons in the Philippines 2019 Pacific typhoon season